We are uh, discussing today about small cell carcinoma of the ovary, hypercalcemic type. It's a rare ovarian cancer with, uh, with fewer than 300 cases reported in the literature and represents less than 1% of ovarian cancers. This disease primarily affects young adults and pediatric patients with a mean age at diagnosis of 25. It's an aggressive form of ovarian cancer and most of, most of the patients are diagnosed with an advanced stage disease. Prognosis greatly depends on the stage. Uh, detection at an early stage is critical. The term small cell carcinoma uh, was designed because the small size of the tumor cells, although the tumor often contains large cells. It is important to point out that it differs markedly clinically and pathologically from small cell carcinoma from other sites mostly common in their lung. We know that this tumor also is associated with hypercalcemia in approximately two-thirds of the cases. And main symptoms at diagnosis are usually nausea and vomiting, uh, sometimes related to <coughs> hypercalcemia, but also uh, abdominal mass and pain. Usually, uh, they present as a unilateral involvement of the ovary. And uh, it is important to mention, as we mentioned before, they are diagnosed mostly in an advanced stage. Sometimes they are in misinterpreted uh, with a variety of other ovarian cancers, especially due to young age of the, the, those patients. The manage of this disease remain a challenge. Primary treatment for localized disease is surgical resections. However, there are controversies uh, if fertility sparing surgery in early stage is a reasonable option. So the role of chemotherapy is also unclear with no consensus on the recommendations and the duration of chemotherapy for adjuvant, as an adjuvant treatment, as well as for the advanced stage. We lack of prospective trial for this disease, but we hypothesize that the multi-agent chemotherapy may extend its survival. And there are also data on radiotherapy for this disease. So we present two abstracts in ASCO, a review of 47 patients with a small cell carcinoma of the ovary, hypercalcemic type, and the results from 12 patients with prolonged survival. What we did, we conducted retrospective analysis of 47 patients evaluated at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. What we found, the median age at diagnosis was 30 years, and the majority were Caucasians. All tumor had an unilateral involvement of the ovary, with a median ovarian mass uh, size of about 16 centimeters. The majority, about 53%, were advanced stage, either stage three or four. And after a median follow-up of 13 months, 29 patients had died of the disease. So the five-year survival rate for this disease in our analysis was 29%, but only 10% was alive with high stage when high stage were detected uh, in first place, either stage three or four, compared to 52% in early stage, either stage one and two. So from these results, 12 patients had a prolonged survival.
and prolonged survival, we assumed patients who lived for at least two years. The majority of those patients uh, had a stage one disease at diagnosis, about 67 patients, 69, 67% of the patients. And radiotherapy was used as part of the adjuvant treatment in 50% of the cases, compared to only 9% of the cases from the patients who had a, a small survival. So in, our, in, in these results, uh, radiation may play a role in this disease. What you, we also found out is that 16% of early stage, 16 patients of the 47, uh, the total of 47 had a early stage disease, a stage one disease. All received, all had surgery at first step and two refused any other adjuvant treatment. The rest have had a combination of two drugs, either carbotaxol or cisplatin and topozide. And the other half received a combination of six drugs that is uh, based on cisplatin, vincristine, adramycin, cyclophosphamide, bleomycin, and the topozide. So what do we find out? 100% of the patients who, who refused chemotherapy, they relapsed, compared to 80% of patients who had a combination of two drugs, and only 16% of patients who received a combination of six drugs relapsed with this disease. So the combination of six drugs was associated with a significant decrease rate in recurrence. Of course, there was more toxicity involved, but once these patients are very young, they were able to tolerate and no major side effects was found. Recent data uh, suggests that small cell carcinoma of the ovary, hypercalcemic type, are actually a new entity of a malignant habidoid tumor based on some genetic, genetic profiles. So what they found is that the mutation of a SMARCA A4 genes that is rare in other solid tumors and accounts for about 0.4% of other ovarian cancer was found in this disease. As well as the whole exome sequence and histopathology appearance and the frequency of presentation of hypercalcemia as well as the uh, poor, pro poor uh, prognosis to convention therapy and sensitivity to radiotherapy uh, makes them to share the similarities. So the understanding of this biology of this rare tumor can help now to improve gene genetic counseling, therapeutic regimen usually for treat habdoid tumors, and the development of target therapy for this is mark of A4 mutation cell lines. So the gynecology oncology department at MD Anderson Cancer Center has published some small case series. And since that, they have seen more patients with that disease in clinics. So now the group are now designing uh, first a database to uh, e all, uh, retrospective and perspective to collect the most of the data from this disease, as well to conduct a trial for newly diagnosed uh, small cell carcinoma of the ovary hypercalcemic type, or we now can say a malignant rhabdoid tumor of the ovary.